Welcome to another edition of Grown Ash Women TV. Oh, yes, yeah, so glad you asked. That is a hashtag. Hashtag God TV. Please use that hashtag when you want Mickey. to join the discussion on social media. Mickey, Let's do that. Mickey, you always do this. You always I do this. It. I got so excited. I'm doing it weird. We don't like gang signs here. But now in all seriousness, before we get started, we have a, such a fun episode for you. But before we get started, please do us a favor and like this video. Give us the old thumbs up, see who play. Since you're already here, you might as well join us every single week at 5 p.m. Eastern on a Wednesday. Please subscribe to this show. The subscribe button is right there. It's pink, it's adorable. And finally, please click that bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss a future episode. Now, of course, I've got Mickey James here who is like absolutely glowing. We'll get to that in a moment. I can't wow. believe this red on you is so shockingly oh, gorgeous. I love you. It's so pretty. It's oh my it? God. Thank you. I feel so like the pretty. chat room is gonna go nuts with this. Like that's your color. I think so too. I think so too. I think I always go a nudie lip. So it's like a color for me. It's just so bold, but I thought it, tied the red in for this outfit so it's so good it's so good it's lisa of course you look gorgeous and glowing and we love you and you you always have a good lipstick game going i must say yeah remember i told you i always google what lipsticks make your teeth white because you mm. know I, I i like my red wine and my teeth kind of match sometimes <laughs> it happens did i not Damn. just well, i'll be honest you guys you know we're always very honest in this chat no, no one judges here hopefully. Uh, I'm on the red wine too. We'll get to that in a moment of what we're wearing and drinking, but I was worried about the red wines. I thought if I paint my lips a wine color, nobody's going to notice. It, Watch it, it about half hour. It might get it'll never get that dark, right? Depends how the night goes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> depends. So stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, on our fantastic bonus episode for the Rumble, which can we just have a moment and say that we want to thank you guys so much we had no idea that we would have a record-breaking number of people in the chat for the Royal Rumble episode. We knew it would be amazing with Mickey being in the Rumble and Lisa returning in the Rumble, but the amount of uh, numbers wow. that we saw going up for the views of the episode and the chat room, we were shocked, right, guys? So shocked. But I think it's just a testament to how excited people were for your return, Lisa. How excited they were for it, and they couldn't wait to hear your side of it and what you had to think. Because it's way different. Amazing. I'm, I'm actually yeah. shocked. I'm, I'm really shocked. And I was trying, like, I'm, when I'm in the chat room, so I, I want to apologize, apologize to all of you guys in the chat room that I can't respond to, but I'm, I'm trying to look at new names and, like, in there going, welcome them to the, what, the, the live chat. It's such yeah. a special moment that we get to, we're actually in the chat room and we try to respond to as many comments we can. Yes. Yeah. It was crazy. It's a lot. Mm. It was a lot. in a good way. It's a, it's a great problem to have. But yes, that you there's a, you have to use like slow mode on the chat because it's just like oh my gosh. And like Lisa said, we're trying to make sure that everyone that's new is is feeling welcome. We want to say hi to everyone new in the chat room today, and of course everyone that's a returning gorgeous member. Uh, we thank you so much for being here, gorgeous everybody, gorgeous. Mm. And speaking of gorgeous, we did have a giveaway for the Royal Rumble episode, our Royal Rumble recap. And we asked you to give your candid comments below on that video of what your favorite part of the Rumble was. Now, most of you, of course, did say it was Mickey and Lisa. Samesies. So sweet. But we, I, I scored through these comments and thought like, you know, I wanted to find one that I thought was so genuine and so lovely. And I looked at the comments first and then I looked at the name. So the comment that really stuck out to me was actually by someone who I believe is a wrestler. I went and did my homework. And it's actually from Visage Wrestler, who I'm already going to be best friends with because I'm thinking Michelle Visage and the LGBTQ plus community. So Visage Wrestler, what a cool name. What a yeah. cool so name, cool. Visage Wrestler. Uh, they wrote, favorite moment of the Rumble had to be Lisa's return. I can't tell you enough how many times I've expected to hear that iconic entrance music since the very first Women's Rumble. Also, she was able to have an iconic, that's in all caps, an iconic elimination with Shayna too. If we don't see this icon go into the WWE Hall Aww. of Fame soon, we will riot. Love you all. Oh. Massage wrestler, <laughs> thank you for that. And we're not promoting uh, rioting. We're not promoting rioting. No, that's we're not. what that about. No. <laughs> no, we're not. But we are that's promoting horrible. your love of God TV and your love of Lisa Marie Barron's return and all of the Royal Rumble shenanigans. So uh, Visage Wrestler has won our three signed 8x10s. We'll be mailing those out to you. We hope that you enjoy them. We thank you so much. We hope that you'll come into the chat and keep enjoying God TV every single week. You guys, how sweet is that? So oh awesome. God. 
So awesome. Oh so cute. So awesome. Yeah. So make sure that we follow as well. But Lisa. I'm, already follow- I'm following already. Oh, you are? I'm following. I did. I did. I- oh, yeah. <laughs> Showing that love. Well, speaking of love, Lisa, we have a special guest that I know from meeting a few times. Mickey knows, but this was someone that you were particularly excited about. Obviously, it's Rikishi. But but Lisa Marie Varon, tell us how excited you are to meet Rikishi on Got TV right now. Can I can I just tell you? Like I wanted to have him on the as a guest for a long time, but again, you know, we're getting bombarded by all of our friends wanting, Hey, when's my invite? Right. Which is a good problem to have. Right. Yeah. But, um, like he's an amazing man. Um, he's always got my back. Um, you know, he's one of the Briz, you know, he's, he's part of you know, the Briz club, you know, like, uh, just Briz club. God, he's Briz such club. a good family, he, good family man came from freaking legendary family. He has his own wrestling school and creating new like superstars and stuff like that. But um, you know, he's not just a coworker. He is one of my friends that still check up. He, I still get DMs on Facebook. Hey, how you doing? That. Just thinking about you. I know. What a good right? Team. Yeah. So yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. We're so honored that and, you guys get yeah. to meet him here virtually on God TV. And he's indeed a legend. I mean, I was telling you guys as, as a young fan, I was, I mean, he was iconic, especially then. And will be iconic forever. A true legend of the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rikishi. Woohoo! Wow. There he is. What's, up, Brad? Oh. What's going Hello. on, legends? Welcome, welcome. The legend himself. Thank you so much for being here on God TV. All love. Thank you for having me. I miss you, oh. girls. Oh my, oh, oh my gosh. We love you. Oh my gosh. Man, I wish what? I could reach right through this screen and just hug all three of you. Oh, there you go. Reach. Let's all reach. Let's all reach. It. Let's reach. I, reach. Feel I, feel it. You. I feel it. My hands actually take up the whole screen. <laughs> yeah, mine too, mine too. Oh, bless your heart. Rikishi, it's such an honor for you to be here. What a professional setup you have. It looks amazing where you are. Yes. Uh, it's just wow. over the years, you know, memorabilia is just, you know, hang up in the building. You know what I mean? And it's just, uh, it's just what I got for now, you know, to come on to a special show. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. Well, I was just telling the girls that I, I've been such a huge fan for years. And Lisa was singing your praises. Now, Lisa, when's the last time you saw each other? Maybe at a signing or? Yeah, in LA Comic-Con. LA Comic-Con. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, me and Lisa kind of cross paths every now and then through, you know, Los Angeles. Uh, they have a lot of Comic-Cons out here. And, you know, I'm like the Comic-Con king and she's like the Comic-Con queen now yes. <laughs> in Los that Angeles. Adorable. The royal our couple. Yeah. Those, are our peeps. Their Those are our peeps. Yes, right? You, you miss the it's Comic Cons. I know we talk about them a lot. And, and with the pandemic, I'm actually in England, so it's it's on a major lockdown right now. But everyone's uh, different. So, Lisa, I mean, I know you miss those Comic Cons, don't you? Yeah, well, because, you know, I, I am a nerd too and a geek and stuff like that. You know, nerd bots like are one of our mm. huge fan base too. Remember nerd bots, right? Kishi, right, they were right, right set up right by us. And, Shout out um, to Nerdbot. Nerdbot, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They dress up like the Ninja Turtles and the Transformers, the ones that actually have the voice converting. Like they're, yeah. I'll really? send you pictures. I'll send you pictures. Oh, yeah. They're amazing. But he uh, loves that stuff. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> Kishi and I, we're, uh, it's not just a money thing to make like at the Comic Cons. I think those are our people and it's a way for us to like, you know, still be in touch with our the fan base. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, Kishi loves them too. Just like we can talk for hours with the fans and that's sometimes yeah. a problem, right? Right? Well, I mean, I mean, problem. for me, you know, for me, like I, I like interaction, uh, interacting with fans up close. You know, what, what they see on television, you know, they're, we're so far back away from our fans and, you know, from my uncles and uh, back in the day, we were always taught to never forget your fans, be it at the Comic-Con or at the arena, or you're coming back out you know, late from a show, <laughs> you know, you're trying to get to the hotel or catch a flight, but we always have to, you know, acknowledge and take time to, to drop our bags and just to sign the autograph from those that's been waiting out, you know, in the back of the arena. So <clears throat> when it comes to the Comic-Cons, it's, it's a beautiful thing for me because I get to hear stories that I never, you know, hear from fans, you know what I mean? Yeah. So the inner, the interaction yeah. It's very, very important for me uh, to continue my relationships with the fans that really brought me to the game and to be able to, you know, uh, you know, recognize who I am today. So I'm very grateful and thankful. 
Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's, it's, it is amazing. It, it's, it's an amazing experience. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so like addicted to the comic cons. I'm just, I'm just mm. like, I'm jonesing out because I haven't been at a comic con and um, Kishi is one of those people that spend, you know, it's not just a cattle call and you're just signing autographs. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks. Okay, next. That's yeah. the worst. Okay. Isn't oh, it? You, which, which picture yeah. do you want to buy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a special moment where you get to actually, like, the the things that the fans remember. I don't remember no. half of the stuff. I don't remember any of it. I'm like, why? I don't remember that. Are you sure it was me? Was that are me? Sure not yeah. that are you? Are you? That happens all the time. That's ivory. Not just ivory. Right? right? I'm sure it's not and, Ivory, and, she says. I feel like you know, Ivory and I, a lot of people like come up to me and go, hey, I left you in the RTC. I go, I was the anti-RTC. <laughs> Get it together. No, that wasn't me, but thank you because we're both crazy. Ivory and I are both very similar personalities. And yeah. So, I could, um, yes. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, right, Keish? Uh, yeah. And, and you know, the, the beautiful thing about the Comic-Cons too it's like when you're up front, close interaction with fans. You know how many times we always see, like we're signing our autograph pictures. We see the same pictures over and over, like they either print it or come from the internet, wherever the case may be. But what I really like and I treasure the most is that the things that fans makes personally for me. You mm -hmm. know, you, we, you get artwork. things from stuffed animals yeah. to artwork. You know, a lot Action of art. I like that. I, I was going to say, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Wow. So I, I have one of these special artwork here that was uh, back in the day was this friend of mine by Leo Albin up in That's New cool. York. And you got you guys, uh, you probably ran into, he's at every uh, wrestling comic con that's up in New York and New Jersey area. Like but back in the day stuff. when uh, Yoko was alive, he actually made uh, a first art painting for Yoko. And oh. then this is the first artwork that he made for me. This is like 20 years ago. Wow. And Whoa. I still have it. So I, I treasure things like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. they put that time, that much time into freaking drawing you, it's, it's, it still like takes us aback. We're like, Whoa, dude, are you serious? Wow. That's this amazing. is incredible. Like, that's really incredible. And they're from you all know? over the right. world and stuff. It's just amazing. Yeah. Really well, I have to tell you and share my own little fan story, if I may. So I've been such a fan of yours, obviously, especially around like mm. early 2000s when I is when I think I was like in my element of like I ate, slept and breathed wrestling. I, that was, you know, my favorite era. I won't mention the glove and that controversy. I'm still a little upset about no. that, Rikishi. But we'll move on. Uh, but I met you um, at a convention. I want to say it was somewhere around Philly or New York. And then about two weeks mm. later, I was at a backstage at WWE, and I, I had never met the Usos before. And I was like, oh my God, they're amazing. But they were passing by, and I said, I have to tell you, I'm such a fan. And I just met, I just met your dad. And you must be passing on this professionalism and and these these manners to them because they were the nicest, most jovial, professional gentlemen that I met backstage. They were absolutely wonderful. You must be so, so proud. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, they, they better be gentlemen. I mean, that's <laughs> what they're taught. You know, I mean, you know, everything starts within our household. You know, uh, every single, I'm sure every single uh, Islander, is, it's in our culture of Samoan yeah. culture, the Poly Polynesian culture. You know, we're, you know, we were taught that when we were young and then we passed that on to our kids as well. So, you know, I'm most proud of the kids. Absolutely. You know, they've had a hell of a career for well over 11 years now. But I'm most proud that they're finally able to, you know, to feed themselves, that I don't have to feed doubles anymore. <laughs> you raised them yeah. well, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> That's so they're amazing. Oh my God. It is really the last living dynasty when you think about it, the Samoan culture. It's the last living dynasty of, like, wrestling culture, in my opinion. It, like, it's like that mm -hmm. and what? the McMahons I'm like it's really because it's just so and I feel like there's an immense amount of pressure it has to be because it's a yeah. family it's such a family business and, and culture and it's just like bred <laughs> into the fabric so it's like I think like Roman and the Usos and everybody like Oots like Eki was so cool with me when I was first came yeah. up like I loved totally. him so much but yeah go. so yeah. Yeah. I just love you guys. The whole family is yeah. just like, oh. Yeah. It's hard to what? like follow in the footsteps of, of legends, I believe. You know, um, Maddie and... Um, 
Nikki, Nikki, where like, yeah, it was just like really took me under their wing and protected me. Like if I had a problem, if we would go out after yes. like an indie show, not indie show, you know, back in OVW or M not, not OVW, MCW, Memphis Championship Wrestling, which Jerry Lawler was part of, mm -hmm. um, they oh. would like, you got a problem? You got a problem? They <laughs> always had my freaking back, dude. I mean, like I'm telling yeah. that you're like, what? it's a family, man. It's you and you're what? very welcoming of that. You know, uh, you know, we speak on this, uh, you know, our culture is like, you know, we bring it to the tables of our profession uh, to be able to adapt. And we never switched up being in a business, never let the business control who we are, who we are as, uh, as people, as Samoans and as Polynesians. And so the domino effect of every single Polynesian, be it Tonga, Haku, Eki, you know, you name it, the, the list goes down the line that, you know, we look at all the female with utmost respect in our business. We look at you guys like our own sisters. And yeah. it's to us that, you know, we protect, we protect you guys, you know, even though we don't know each other, if something happened uh, to, to me, to Val, and I, you know, I've never met Val, but she's in uh, all of them automatically. And, Aww. you know, through the years, uh, you were there, Lisa, me and you has had a long relationship. Yeah. I remember when you first came in and, you know, you were part of with the Godfather crew as one of the girls. And there was, I think it was uh, Cleveland, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, but you came back, you were so excited of the vibe, what's out there and, you know, the energy. And then you came to me and I think it was me and John Cena sitting there and you came and you said, yeah, Casey, I think I can do this. How, how do I, how do I, you know, how do I get in there and start training it? And during the time, Vince McMahon's door, we were sitting, we can see Vince's door open. And I, I remember I told you, go walk in there and go talk to the man. Go talk straight to the man. And I think you went in there that day and then you came back. You were so happy because next thing you know, you were going to go get trained. You yeah, know, in Memphis. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I love that. And then, like, and then have him say, go to Vince McMahon's office. You're like, wait, I'm only part of the Save the Hose campaign here. <laughs> um, I, 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 I am a peon. I, well, I was a peon though, Val. Like I was like I was like so small on the totem pole. Sure. But um, I remember going to the, hey, the um, train and I talked over with me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. And then um, I went to um to Jim Ross and I said, Hey, Jerry Lawler's saying that I should move to Memphis um to good train. He goes, Oh, are you willing to move? And I was like, Yeah. And so the week, you know, the hose only we didn't do really house shows. We just did TV. Uh, yeah. I come back. And Kevin Kelly goes, how fast can you get to Memphis? And I go, when do you need me out there by? And he goes, a week. And I was like, what? I, mm. I, yeah, so I got there in a week. Crazy yeah. enough. That's yeah. You made it happen. You there made you it go. happen. I mean, it's those type of opportunities. Like, you know, for those that are listening to the show right now, you know, there's so much females that are out there. Right now is the time. I'm so happy for the women's division. It is stronger than ever now. I'm very happy that the women are finally to get the light on them rather than just be TNA. Now you yeah. can show the skills of women. Like they're just as good as the men professional wrestling today. And, you know, shout out to everybody that's out there. I mean, it only takes a story, hopefully like yeah. a story like Lisa's that inspire right. those that, you know, when you're at the WWE, don't be scared to go know your worth. I always tell my kids this. Know your worth. If you know your worth, then go ahead and open your mouth. If you don't know it and you're not that uh, at that level, then go ahead and sit back and wait till you do get to that level. Right. And then years right. later, look at I'm talking to Lisa, who's a legend in this industry, as well as you ladies. Oh, it's you're a beautiful so thing. We, we were so you. happy to see Lisa on Thank the Royal you. Rumble. We actually did an entire episode dedicated to the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Bravo, Lisa. But Bravo. It was very emotional. Very up. emotional. Very, yeah. very emotional. Yeah. We got emotional just being supportive and encouraging her. But I'm so glad that you brought that up about the Royal Rumble because there was an amazing uh, moment between you and Bianca Belair, who won the Women's Royal Rumble. Congratulations, Bianca. Yes. It was on uh, WWE Watch Along. And, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on Bianca because just seeing what I've seen of her, and I actually saw her a little bit in NXT before she got to TV. What an absolute star, right? But you know what? It's, it's just it, it's a combination of things. Uh, you know, first of all, I was very honored uh, to be in that segment with uh, with Bianca, and it's a beautiful thing because I didn't realize I was into a segment 
that's going to go down in the history. You have the first black woman to win the Royal Rumble. It's black. It's Black History Month, and then she's going on to WrestleMania to fight for the title. I mean, you can't get no better than that. It's 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 it was uh, you know it was meant to be for her. Everything yeah. in this business is timing. You know whether whether the WWC uh, seen fit that she was the person for the time being. Uh, but, you know, by just hearing her story and watching, you know, uh, you know, her growth, her journey uh, through the business, you you ladies know how difficult it could be for for women, you know, and to be able to be the first, uh, you know, to go down in history for something like that, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm very, very proud and happy for not only she's her, but for, for all women. Oh, you're so sweet. I say that girl, she's meant to be a star, it, whether it had been in wrestling Whatever she was yeah. going to do, she was going to be. There's just, you know, that certain vibe and energy. I just, she and she's just mega talented and a natural athlete and just totally. good on top of that. Yeah. And she's you know, I, 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 I say I this all the time. I love good people getting good things, you know? Right. I say oh, this yeah. all the time. So, you know, for us that's on the screen, we didn't have it as good as they have it today. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to throw it out there. You know, they got so much, you know, uh, opportunities today from i yeah. mean god forbid we were to video ourselves in the locker room better back in the day yeah we get heat <laughs> we, we, we get heat we get fired that show but yeah, now, fired. we get fired right? yes we yes. get fired you ladies know that but yeah. now they got so much they got so much tools that they can use to help promote themselves to help get themselves out there faster you just got to survive and understand the game ins and outs you know right. don't never don't ever do nothing for them to you know, throw a red flag up on you because you'll just be taking yourself out the game. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And then when I yeah. found out, I was talking to Navajo, who still works there, and he used to be in mm. charge. I thought I think of Jax. I think not in charge. Was he Jax or the company oh, or the, the video You're game? Jack specific. As oh. least he does mm. the he does the video game stuff now. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, and, and yeah. like he was in <laughs> OVW when I started back then. That's how old I, I know him. Yeah. and he was saying yeah. how like NXT they it. have a bus they have a bus that takes them to shows. They don't build the ring, and that uh -huh. was the part girls of the don't Dawn. do the ring at all anymore. The girls, oh, like, oh I carried many a ring. I was like, oh, I got done wrestling school, and I've been. <laughs> finished breaking down rings for at least four years and i got to obw and i'm like carrying the beams again i was like what the hell <laughs> okay yeah yeah, yeah. Here we go. that was but 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 Here don't I you am. feel that like that was like a bonding moment though I like when we it. broke down the like we never I complained we're like we're all joking and it was just it such together a, yeah totally. that was that was that was kind of that was kind of our way of still paying our dues yeah you know today you know think back uh you know ladies we didn't have a performance center right you know what i mean so where do they all go they go to this one-stop shop now performance center, and that's what i mean how how good they have it it's you know, amazing they, they got a place there that just caters to a to z everything you need to become you know good and be ready for for the next level for you yeah. for us we had to freaking carry ring posts we had to drive the <laughs> ring truck we get yes. splinters in our damn hands for carrying the damn ring boards and yeah. then go and then go work and then tear it yeah. down again. Right, right. your day you starting know? right. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And, and, well, you and that's that's what really makes us like, you know, we we respect the business because we know the ins and outs of what it took for you ladies and uh, to be where you're at. You know, you, the, the name wasn't just given to you guys. You guys work your butt offs, mm -hmm. you know, for it. And even even today. It's still not enough credit that's given to the ladies that, and and you know guys that paved the way in this industry. You know, I, I wish they would. I wish they would have checks from the companies, you know, like retirement checks. No, I'm I'm yeah. just throwing it out. For sure, retirement sure checks. It's still air. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's but that's, that's just it's, it's a hard business too, and it's hard to transition into anything Normal else outside because people don't. It's just a different, it takes a br different breed of human, I think, to really strive and make make it the longevity in the business. You know what I mean? Especially. Yeah. 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 My, a, my, uncle, you brought that up. Good. my uncle's always told me, Alpha and Sika, we're on the road and I was complaining about making $30 <laughs> at booking. They always told me, he says, it's not how much you make, it's how much you save. 
interesting. True. I, I, never, under girls, I never understood that. I, yeah. I told the, um, the Lacey girl um, that was a military girl and now she wears the bonnet and stuff like that. Um, like Tori and I pulled her aside. Always document your ring gear when you wore it. So when you sell it later on after wrestling, mm -hmm. you can go back and say, this is when I wore it because I'm going through my stuff. I go, where'd you wear that? I go, I have, I don't know. I wore yeah. it though. I don't know. Mm. And the but, fans um, will know, but it's gotta be a lot, like, especially, you know, it's gotta be a lot to keep up with. Plus it's so, it's such an honor, I think, for people to want that and want it from that particular match. And it's a piece of nostalgia for them. I'm sure you guys, you've seen like some of these wrestling museums and things like that. I'm sure they have a lot of your, your memorabilia, all three of you, where it's, it's a moment in time. It's a time capsule for them. And it just, it's a testament to how your careers will live on forever. And speaking of that, I have to ask, by the way, we're going to put a lot for everyone watching and everyone in the chat room. Hi, everybody. We're going to make sure that we put all of this information on the screen. If you uh, would like some of the Samoan Dynasty gear, there's a Facebook page. There's some gear we can uh, make sure that we have links for you. And Rikishi, oh, look, first of all, yeah. Lisa's representing. Check this yeah, out. Well, He's walking yes. Yes. well, yes. I, I know, I know how, I know how much Lisa loves my brother <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> And uh, I think there you go. I get it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I try to memorize that dance, and I still don't. I don't have it. I gotta, oh I gotta my do goodness. my homework. You oh gotta head God. back to the islands of Hawaii so you can get. get oh back my God! Your boat. Please yeah. film it for us, Lisa, if you do. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I'll Please film it. it. But we also want to link something in the description. So check this out if you're watching the episode on replay. Uh, so you talked about uh, the, the stars of tomorrow, like Bianca Belair and their stars that are up and coming. But you actually have a wrestling school. So it's knoxpro.com. We're going to make sure that we put all the information up. Um, but tell mm -hmm. us about who, uh, how, how that's going. And if you think you have some, some diamonds in the rough in the school yet, who, who do you have your eye on? Oh, uh, well, you know, the school's been up for. Thank you for mention, uh, mentioning that and throwing a plug for us. The school's been well over a decade now in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, one of our uh, one of our stars that came out of our school was Rusev, who is Miro. Yeah. That's married to Lana. I love him. Love yeah, him. So, he's such a great worker. And, and you know, we uh, we're very proud of him. I mean, he took the training that you know that was instilled in us in our family, and you know, we not only uh, train him to understand the bumps and everything, but the ins and outs, the politic and, uh, you know, we <laughs> have also to, well, yeah, you know, you know, in this game, like I have nephews and other students in the school that are very good athletes, but yeah. what, what sense of being a good athlete if you're your own demon outside the academy, meaning you yeah. don't understand what this game is. Mm. So, right. you know, we're, we're 30 strong and, and the wheel keeps turning with us. Uh, our thing is like, you know, is the passionate of our of uh, of how we love the business in our family. We want mm -hmm. the kids to get it. You know, I, I always say if I can bring all the independent kids, you know, to Los Angeles to the school, you know, my gain is for them to understand that this business is not a PlayStation. Like, you know, you you better understand and be be ready to sacrifice, be ready to do the work. You know, it's not what you see on TV. It's uh it's important for us to you know to educate them what it is. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. and you know to be ready after life after wrestling mm -hmm. you know so so nowadays yeah. we we know about the kids nowadays it's a new generation you get it something is. i think i wish i went to a school that taught it. us how to politic i didn't know how to yeah. politic yeah i didn't know what yeah. that meant well, i'm like going oh okay and you all we all know that most of the business like the the wrestling the performing part that's the fun part that's the yeah. you know what i mean yeah. that's the the great like the the gravy on top you know what i mean but the politic is where the business is all that's where all the work is done that's the hard yep. part and the, well, the, you know, part. the driving can be fun you know with the right yeah, I, I, and partners it, it, it's just important that the kids understand yeah. you know like you know to know your worth like when you sell yourself, when, once you sign a dotted line to professional wrestling, you pretty much gave them your whole life. And then, you know, you got to know when, when there's a, when, when there's that line that you don't cross, meaning you're not going to take my pride. You're not going to take blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? There's, there's always time for you to speak up. And if it, you know, sometimes it's not about money, you know, it's about the respect that you've earned to be there. And yeah. then, you know, there's some that are yes, men you know, that will do whatever. And those are the ones that become stooges in the industry. 
And then they don't realize they're just putting a tag on themselves where yeah. it makes it harder for other people to have a relationship with those type of people. And so in this industry, you always have good, you have those that mean well, you have those that are just snakes, you you know, smile in your face, you turn around, they stab you right in the back of your neck. Yeah. And then it's just a, it's just an awful thing. So I try to prepare yeah. our students and, you know, to be aware of things like that, because it does happen, you know? Yeah. And I wish well, I learned that because I did not know that <laughs> though. Mickey, like, like back in our day, we're like thinking, oh, I'm doing a storyline with this person. Oh my God, they really want to work with me. And, um, but you don't know the back end and like, you're not prepared for like, you know, I remember like one of the matches was supposed to be, I was supposed to win the title and, um, or the championship, sorry. We're not supposed to say title anymore or what? <laughs> okay. but, and then it got and it got switched because of it got switched last minute and i go oh did i in my head i'm going i must have pissed somebody off really bad for to get the dial the title I, I guess i'm not in the running you know you don't mm. know this stuff you know what i mean so right. everybody's in it for themselves it is a selfish business very rewarding don't get me wrong i, I appreciate everything i've been through but it's it's a very you know you are your your priority and I've never been in a selfish in environment I'm, I was always so giving which was kind of a little bit of a double-edged sword for me I was um you know I, I appreciate all the girls wanting to work with me especially on their last match or like Candace wanted her last match with me her retirement and but I was also super giving you can make me mm. look like shit I'll make you look like a million bucks that's what I do that's what I do that's what it's too, that's you'll be remembered bro. for. I think that's so cool. There's nothing, there's not such a thing yeah. as being too nice. I don't think I know in some ways, like I we agree. talk about it, you can be a little too nice, but you know, th those are the people that I think everyone has such a respect for. And you mention your name to anyone and Rikishi's name and Mickey's name. And I, you'll never hear a bad word about any of you. Never. You have, never. You have cemented wow. yourselves as these that's steadfast debatable. people. Well, <laughs> Mickey's like, well, who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who you talk to. You might not, you might not be talking to the right people. <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep talking, I guess. Uh, yeah, of course, no, wait, wait, of course. But the cable guy said, won't. the guy that, that, that moves the cable, cable out of the way, great. when we take a bump, he said, I'll get like main event next week. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong yeah. person. He needs to be true. Old, old, old Ned, the janitor. Yeah. Yeah. Big fan. You know, Big too, fan. I think it takes a good read of character. Like, that's what took me a long time is like to be okay with like, because you always want to believe that people, but it is a very selfish business, but it's still a family because we're all doing it together. We're taking the same yeah. bumps. We're taking the same drives. We're doing the same loops. Like we're in it together, but it's, it was, it was a catch 22 because sometimes, but I always felt like, I don't know. I had a, for the most part, unless I didn't just trust myself, I had a good read on people of like what, like yeah, you're where good at they that, were Mickey. in my circle, you're whether good. I could trust yeah. them in my in my space or not. But yeah. discernment yeah. of people. Yeah, my mom yeah. always calls it. And then also Rikishi has also been in like we would get into the arena and we'd be up in the bleachers and he's heard me cry like like what the fuck am I doing here? Excuse my language. What am I doing you here? Do. do I belong here? I'm like, I don't feel like a like do I have it? Like you need reassurance from your coworkers or someone that really looks out for you. Like Kishi, you always had my back and there's not very many people in the business that will really still be there like through thick and thin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, during that time, you know, the attitude era when you came in, you know, it was, it was crazy, you know? And so, you know, again, it goes back to us being who we are as Samoans and Polynesian. We just, you know, me and you, we just kicked it off. And yeah. there were other, you know, females that were there, like, you know, Jackie Ivory, you know, remember Nydia? Yeah. Oh, yes. Nydia, shout out to Nydia. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my I goodness. Her, yeah. If God, you're listening that. out, Nydia, call us. Yeah, and, yeah uh, Nydia. We'll have her on we God. We talked about oh having her on God TV. I was Oh, my God. Her. Oh. her and Jamie Noble. My God. Jamie Noble, boy. <laughs> and yeah. so, you know, to, you know, you know, we were blessed to come from a family legacy. Uh, to be able to give us the smarts and everything to what, uh, to you know, the signs to look out for. Our uncles taught us to see everything coming a mile away and always kill everybody with a smile. Those that are, those that are, you know, that are, you can unpleasant with you. Like, you know, every now and then they throw shots and conversations and, and we're smart enough to hear it. They might not be looking at us, 
but we can hear it to where, okay, that, that, that shot came towards our way, but they're not going to man up and say it directly to our face because now we'll turn from wrestlers into Samoans. Yes. Right? And yeah. so did, we never had, we've always had that type of, of fear, but also fear and respect as well. You know, That's so where I would say. One, it was like, it, like in such a, st- it's always in such a, st- from my personal, it's always in handling the business in such a stoic professional leadership kind of just like a man like and it's just yeah. even like I look at Tamina mama bear and she is the best dude like I love her so mm-hmm. much but she is a, a like honestly the rock in that locker room I think like she just kind yeah. of yeah. you know yeah it's like a, she's, I don't know. she's not the one you know what I mean meaning you step you're going to step to her you better come correct yeah yeah you know and I love that. that. I, I love, love that. that. Yes. Yeah. And I, yeah. I feel you know, like they, they all every, call her. I, they, they call her mama bear. Kishi in the back. They call her mama bear. That's mm. And then I, I got that taste from R- rumble. I'm like, I get it now. I get it too. Yeah. That's badass. There's a great leader, she's great badass. leader in the locker room. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's, uh, she's been, she's been, uh, you know, there doing her time there. And, uh, you know, How about uh, Naya? The- How about Naya? Naya too. Naya's been there, you know, she's hanging in there as well, you know. I love that. I mean, all, all the ladies that get a chance to get up in there right now, enjoy it because it don't last forever. No. You know, and, awesome. and, make, and well, make the best out of it. You, you were know? saying that earlier about like taking the time for your fans and really appreciate, appreciating them. And I think on the, like, after you come off TV and you separate, and I think because I've had a chance to come off and then go back, I've been very blessed with that. But on the back end of it, especially right before I was about to, you know, retire or whatever, because I had D and I was just like, oh, it's not going to happen. So it's whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, But you start to realize like, really, like you have to appreciate them because they've paid your bills. They put food on your table. They've supported you. They've loved you there, after there, beyond there and everything that you Mm -hmm. continue to do and live and survive and thrive. And it's like really taking those moments because those those things of like oh never meet your heroes like i'd hate that to be me because that would suck right. it would make me feel like a horrible human being because you want to always leave the business better than you found it and inspire a whole yeah. new generation to be yeah. good to be the right do it the right way you know and and yeah. like like mm-hmm. you guys have done and i think i connect too on that thing because of my native roots too yeah. i feel like we connect on that level it's all i'm like oh because yeah. it is so driven in tradition and family and the way it is and like respect and respect your elders and always listen and just pay yeah. attention and keep your eyes open, ears open and to be able to like res- not respond, this, the ego to separate your ego enough to not respond and just sit back and take it in just so you know you've, you're here, but you don't have to. Sure. All yeah. of it. 100%. 100%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, oh we get, you get me. I'm just saying. We're, we're, we're vibing. That. Even all, we're all over the world right now, but we're still vibing through Zoom. Thank you for that. Yeah. There was a mark out moment that um, I got to do the dance with Rikishi and Too Cool in the ring with um, the other Ho, which was Mandy. Her <laughs> character name was Mandy. Her real name was mm-hmm. Frosty. How do you change no, Frosty that's not her real name. to Mandy? Frosty was a real name, right? Keish, yeah, right? Well, you named yeah. your kid Frosty. How do you Frosty. change the that name of the middle name? <laughs> I, I, you Frosty. know what? I don't know, but I, I know she lives in Arizona. That's what that the, the root, I don't know. <laughs> it's not even I, a cold state. To, That's Frosty. another show. That's another show. That's another That's show. That's another show. Only fans. Only fans. <laughs> oh my God. But we got to do that dance and I was like, stupid ass me. I'm like wearing heels. Why the hell did I wear heels? Because I can... I could have done way better because when I watched that, I go, "Oh, I tripped because the the mat was all wrinkled and it was." You were <laughs> as soon as like Kishi did this, yeah. I was like, goose, "Like the goose <laughs> And then you know, those are the best when the lights hit. Oh my god, that's the most like yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. oh god, it was so great. And I, I I think I I have received the stink face too, right? I was one of the honored ones. I'm so jealous. You, you know, and <laughs> is that weird? This, here's another thing, like, you know, is for the weird? stink face. Just for the record, for all the women that took the stink face, I had no problem with them. Meaning, for the guys, when the guys knew that they were working against me was going to take the stink face, you know, there was some type of way. But for all the women, 
They were, yeah, they were like excited. Like, yeah. ah, I'm going to get the stick face. I'm going to get the get stick face. Get to take face. a signature move. I get the signature <laughs> move. Yes, yes. You guys just made me feel so comfortable because I was like, I heard it every time from my mother. Said, Why did you sit on those girls' faces for? You should be sitting on the men's faces. Bob, uh -huh. you know, it was like, she felt like it was kind of a sign of disrespect. Ah, Mom, you don't understand. I, I'll no. tell you when yeah. I get home. Yeah. It's an honor. <laughs> Listen, mom, but I wanna, always answering the mom still. Oh, so I mean, still I mean the women, the, the women yes. sold it the best, more so than the, than the men out there. So oh my God. I if think, we, I think you all. If ever have a Gachi V exclusive, oh, I think that might be it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'll be another show. <laughs> yeah, yes. we'll, we'll have you back because we want to hear some of that, some of the uh, off so the much. record stuff for sure. But again, for all of the fans that are joining us here, thank you so much. We're Rikishi fans just like you are. And we want you to make sure that you're checking into the description where we have all of the information about the Samoan Dynasty gear that you are totally going to represent. And of course, the, the wrestling school, just like Lisa, ladies and gentlemen, the wrestling school and Rikishi is available on CelebVM, celebvm.com slash Rikishi to send you a, a personalized video shout out. Rikishi, how have you been enjoying CelebVM? Oh, it, it beats taking bumps. You know? <laughs> Amen. Well said. Well Amen. said. You know? Well, we are honored Amen. to have you here. Thank you so much. It was Thank a big fan, fangirl moment for me oh my God. in particular. Wait, what, what shirt are you wearing? Rikishi, what shirt are you wearing? Are you sports? Oh, no, that's just... Your no, it was just a, 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 a Reeboks hoodie. Well, whatever yeah. you have to drink, we're going to say cheers. Wait, cheers wait, to you. Are you drinking? Wait, hold on. Cheers. I got oh, one. Water. God damn it. Lisa, I haven't drank uh, alcohol in 15 years. Oh, oh, shoot. I texted you and said, hey, do you mind if we drink? But you didn't respond. I was like trying to be respectful to you going, are we allowed to drink with Kishi? And I'm like, he's That's been it. around the boys. He's so used to it. Like, <laughs> Either way. It's just a sign we of good you. faith. We're going to say this is, to, this, is this is to Rikishi. We love you so much. And you have just been, you're a legend. Yes. I was, you have no idea how much you like have a place in my heart. And I appreciate all the DMs you send me. Just make sure I'm okay. And thank you for always being my therapist on the road. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. A legendary so, so, cheers to a legend. Thank you so you. much for being here. Love you. Yeah. I love you, you girls. You, you guys continue you. the good work and you guys be Thank safe. Thank you. Okay. Thank you love so much. You. Love you. Bye, love you. Bye, 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 Cheers. Bye, Lisa. Bye. I love, love you. you guys. Bye. This is the word go, yo, go.